Again, shout out to Gotway America for sending me this wheel. Let's do it. Yep. See? You're the first one to ride. Aren't you special? I already put out Tuesday's episode, episode 16. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. I hope you guys like it. Uh, most of it was filmed at night, and for all the cinematographers out there, they all know that nighttime shooting is the worst when there's no natural light. Anyway, that's not what the episode is about. Shout outs to Godway America for making this happen. Model, ladies and gentlemen, straight from the factory. She beautiful. This is a really beautiful wheel. I'm definitely feeling the trolley. <laughs> this is something, plastic. It ain't padding. This is the only padding that's there. They got the ACM pedals, which is... All right, so I haven't wrote this thing yet, but just a quick glimpse of summary. Um, this reminds me of the MCM4. This is the 1020 uh, model. Um, you have the traditional headlights, the USB, charge port, power. It looks like it has a light belt. There's a light that sort of goes around this. The Tesla, baby straight from the factory. I wonder if I could turn this on. Even though this is an 18 inch wheel, the pedals are actually higher on the 16 inch wheel. Again, that's ideal for sharp turns. I can't stress enough how much times on the ACM I nearly died doing a sharp turn. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Gotway Tesla. So apparently the Tesla model have dual fans inside and I can actually hear it. I can hear the fans inside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but trust me, they're very silent. It's faint, but you can definitely hear the fans spinning. Uh, right now I see two lights and I think this is how you know the battery life. Thanks, Raina. This is how you know the battery life, these two lights here. And I guess if it's full, it'll be all the way down here. So again, this is there's no speed test in this video, but as soon as it's charged, <laughs> you know what I'm going for. Anyway, let's do a test ride, shall we? Oh, oh, but it is comfortable. This thing is very comfortable. fact out now if you as you can see the pedals on the V8 is a tad bit higher I mean an inch higher than the Gotway Tesla pedal that's actually pretty good very good again the idea is to be able to perform sharp turns and the Gotway Tesla will not disappoint I assure you 
Look at the height between the V8 and the Gotway Tesla. It is literally the same. Almost exactly the same. This is the Gotway Tesla standing up all by itself. Looks like it seems sturdy. Obviously you don't want to give it a hard push, but yeah, looks like you can just sit. So I literally can just like, you know, sit it down and that's it. It's not top heavy, like the M Super or the Monster. I, I actually think that's a plus. This is good. It's not charged yet. <laughs> it's almost there, I think. I don't know. So uh, let's talk specs for a second. Uh, what's inside? Well, the motor comes in at 1900 watts. Um, much more powerful than my current wheel M, M Super V3 Plus, which is a 1500 watt motor. I wasn't able to test the speed um, because when I got this thing, it was only at two bars. I have it now at 70%, which again, still isn't, you know, if I do a speed test, I want to make sure it's at 100%. Um, I don't want to lie to you guys, you know, um, one of the things about my videos is I try to be as honest as possible, no bias, so. Because <laughs> I just claimed it. <laughs> How you gonna claim a wheel that's not yours? It's mine. That's not your wheel. <laughs> It's mine. I just claimed it. You can't claim what's not yours. <laughs> no, it's mine. Got what America sent it to me. <laughs> everybody looks like my wife is enjoying this Tesla over here she used to cruise on the in motion v8 and while she does love that wheel she always complained about how slow it was I'm okay don't worry come on anyway let's do this Can't wait to test the speed though that's 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 key that's key um i already got questions so first question is will i give up my m super for the tesla well it depends on how fast this thing is it's a it's it's actually already again spec sheet spec wise it's already more powerful i'll be honest as of right now uh this thing will be replacing my m super v3s plus it's it's just it's so nimble it's so easy and much easier to handle it's not top heavy and so you don't feel the weight as you're riding uh the other thing is um the power button has multiple modes so i know that if you press the if you hold down the power button it turns on the vehicle obviously if you press it again the flashlight comes on you press it again you actually turn off the ring light the belt light whatever they call it and then you press it again and then you just get the battery life so actually let me show you the battery life how it looks so right now this is what the battery life looks like um so one two three four five i believe there's six lights i could be wrong it could be just five but i believe there's six lights so remember what i was explaining to you about the power button so if i press the power button you get the flashlight if i press it again then it flashes I press it one more time now you notice the belt light is no longer engaged only the brake light and then if you press it one more time then you have the rotating lights pretty cool stuff all right let's get back my friend my buddy Ron asked me 
am I gonna replace my M Super V3S with the Tesla? And so far my answer is yes. I gotta tell you, I feel like they found a way to package the power of the M Super into this Tesla. I don't know how to explain it, but it I feel like it has a little bit more power than the M Super. And I don't know if that's because of the 1900 watt motor, but this thing's amazing. And because it's not top heavy, you don't feel the weight when you're riding. Um, it's again, it's hard to explain. Like right now, I'm, I I have the prototype with me right now. Gotway America was nice enough to send me a prototype of the Tesla Gotway. And if this is the if this is what the final product's gonna be, oh my God, this thing's and I, I feel a little bit safe. For the simple fact that there is now a dual fan inside to exhaust the heat, uh, that's great. Um, what else can I say? Um, I, I, you know, on the M Super, even though there is a battery indicator, I feel like you have to sort of step off the wheel to look back to see how much battery you have. Um, or if you really got to be one with your wheel, you could just tell just by pushing the the motor, you know, pushing the gyroscope. If you get that beep, you know, early and early on, then you know for sure that your battery is, you know, draining a bit. It's nice to know that I could just look down and see the lights, and then the amount of lights will tell me exactly how much battery life I have. Um, I, I, let's see what else I can say. Now, it's so weird. I, I visit my buddy Chris today, you know, at his place, because I swear to god i think this thing has shock absorption i swear to god i think this thing has shock absorption and, and again this is one of those things that i can't explain but i feel like any bump i go over i feel like this thing just absorbs it i i, I don't know how to describe it chris doesn't think it has shock absorption or he thinks it's the rubber inside the tire i don't know for sure and i may just take this thing apart just to check but I feel like whenever I jump off a small curb or jump or ride over a bump, I feel like this thing just absorbs the shock and I can actually feel it. I can feel the wheel just sort of like go in a little bit and then bounce back up like like shocks. But again, don't quote me on this. I'm not too sure, but I'll confirm shortly. I did open the wheel, but not the entire case. Uh, what I did was I took apart the shell to expose the battery. And what I kind of found was interesting. Uh, so the motherboard is now located on the top. I actually have pictures that I'll post them. But at, the motherboard is actually located on the top of the wheel, which I think is great. Um, what I also know is that the wiring is like reinforced. Um, it has that heat sink, but then it has like, again, I, I'll post a picture so you can see it. I also, I also saw that the flashlight, the headlight in the front of the device is actually a lot brighter uh, compared to the previous models, you know, the Gotways. There was actually next to useless so it's good to know that the bulb in the tesla is a little bit brighter um overall i'm very happy i'm, I'm gonna write this thing to work tomorrow and you know my speed test is coming up in version two so check that out um and again guys if you like this video please like and subscribe you know i'm doing this for the community i, I can't thank gotway america enough for sponsoring me and for sending me this 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 wheel I, I, they, you guys have no idea this this wheel freaking rocks. I, I can't wait for you guys to give it a shot. It's, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. You know, hit that little bell button so that you know when I release a new video, you'll get a notification. Most importantly, just enjoy my videos. That's all I ask. For those of you who are looking to pre-order the Gotway Tesla, um, right now I have a prototype. But stay tuned to gotwayamerica.com for updates on when they'll have it available at their website. All right, guys, peace.